know, one of the neatest new developments the ACC has is this, the lifelong learning portfolio. And I'm thrilled to be joined now by Harlan Krumholtz. Harlan, good to see you. Hey, Randy, really good to see you. You are the editor-in-chief of this uh, lifelong learning pro portfolio. Tell me a little bit about what it is. Well, th this is actually a system that's being put in place at the ACC that is both an organizational uh, structure that allows people to keep track of what they're doing, uh, assemble their credits together in one place. I mean, there's more and more pressure on cardiologists Absolutely. To, to do education and be accountable for that education. And there are more and more bodies that are asking then for, show us what you've done, man. prove to us that, that you've taken the courses. And, and that takes time, sometimes inconvenient, and this is the one place where people can bring it together, but also get access to really good content. So, so it's, it's an archival system to some extent, but it, it doesn't it also, I mean, the, the goal here is to really allow you to not only evaluate, but sort of improve your level of knowledge and your quality of care? Yeah, yeah, I think about it as one-stop shopping. And, and the reason I wanted to get involved was to, to try to help create this as a strong platform where there would be really good content that was independent, trustworthy, credible, okay. and evolving from the needs of the members, not being directed by any outside forces, but really about what our members need, and then to be able to make it convenient for people. I mean, Absolutely. the whole point of this is convenience. Not only that, this, this maintenance of certification is about to come into place with the American Board of Internal Medicine. Right. And so our, our members are going to have to be keeping up in a more regular fashion. And we want to make it fun, interesting, and useful so that it can best serve what our members need right. and be good for the patients. Well, I mean, you're right on with the, the complexities of the way we practice now and all this. So you've, you've sort of teased me a little bit. Tell me some of the highlights that you see of, of the portfolio. Well, I think that you're going to see education undergo a revolution in the next five or 10 years where we're going to be looking in ways to make it more efficient to learn. Right. We're going to make it more fun, maybe gamify it a little bit. Cool. We're going to make it adaptive so that if you, for example, answer the first couple questions in the right way, you don't have to go through the entire piece. It'll, it'll jump you to where you need to go next and it will be wise to where are those gaps in your knowledge. It'll take advantage of the registry data that's being right. generated and see where are the gaps in practice. So where do we need to focus and concentrate our efforts? Right now we're kind of doing a shotgun approach. I mean, a lot of stuff goes out and it's not necessarily being directed by what an individual needs or where we're looking at the practice of cardiology really needs to focus given the the vulnerabilities in the current systems. No, I mean, that's, a, that's a great point. It's, I mean, you really are, it sounds really neat. Can you, can you is the for, what's the format going to be? Is it, it PC-driven? Is it cloud-based? Is it, you right. know, I, I'm, you're, you're talking about gamification and all this. Right, so in some ways I'm talking a little bit about the future. In the beginning, okay. you know, people aren't going to see a lot of change, but they're going to see in the content. That is, we're going to start moving the content in ways that I think people will enjoy more and find more engaging. But the platform, that is now I'm talking about the organizational right. platform, is, is going to be available. And what it's going to do, to the extent that we can, is automatically populated with the data from the courses that people are taking. So now somebody's not going to have to go in and type, I took this course right, and so right. forth, and that, that wouldn't be very good. But if you've taken something automatically, if it's in the ACC family, then it'll it's, populate It'll in be there. scooped in. Cool. So then you'll be able to say, gee, how am I doing on my CME credits? How am I doing on my maintenance certification? And even more than that, we'll be able to export that to the American Board of Internal Medicine. That's, that's and so then automatically, for their certification needs, it'll be taken care of in a way that is much less cumbersome than currently. You, you've, yeah, it sounds, sounds, <laughs> sounds great. You've said that uh, you're going to do move it to gamification. If, if we look out five years, where is it going to be? Yeah, What's so it going to look like in five years? Right, so now I'm talking the content, not the vehicle. Right, the vehicle right. is going to be this organizational piece. Right. But in terms of the content of education, I think we're going to move from sort of very static PowerPoint slides and then some questions to more interactive, engaging kind of work. And I sort of see that this educational process will be feeding from, like I said, the practice of cardiology sure. and the needs of individual clinicians, and ultimately it will be tailored and customized for each individual. We should be able to get that to work with our technology. Oh, absolutely. So that what you're getting delivered and the way you're getting pushed is, is exactly it's what you specific need. Specific for me as, and a, as, a, as a customer. Maybe we can put together like a question of the week and you know, ways that people will find fun, engaging, and share with others. And then automatically by participating in things like that, it'll, it'll give them credit and that'll help them with their certification and it'll be a win-win-win all the way across. No, it's, it, sounds, it sounds fascinating, it really does. How do, how do people get this? In other words, are we, it's being introduced here. How do we sign up for it? So people need to go on to CardiSource and okay. go into their member profile and they'll see that there's a space it's right there. there. Now I will tell you, we're still 
you know, getting to the point, we launched now, but we're getting where we're going to start populating and that people are going to be a little patient. When they go there right away, it may not have everything it's going to have, but they're going to see the concept here and they're going to know that very soon, we're going to be a place that's going to be bringing in all the things that they're doing. For example, even you attend this meeting, the kind of credits that you might get at the meeting should flow right into this and people will ultimately be able to get credit for the, all the kind of activities they're doing connected with the ACC. That's fabulous. Well, I, you know, I really appreciate not only your time, time with me, but, but being the editor-in-chief of this. It sounds, uh, you know, it sounds really fun, which I think is important, and needed by the members. So we want to encourage all of you to go look at this on your, on your uh, website, the Lifelong Learning Portfolio. It's, it's going to be the way we're going to practice in the future. For ACC 13, I'm Dr. Randy Martin.